What's good, YouTube? So, I got another deck profile for you today, and it's Dark Lords. I've had this deck profile for a while, but I've just been testing it, seeing if I liked it, and this is the version I like it in. And this is basically dig for your cards dot deck, because you need to get to your Dark, dark Lords and Vin, do you mean, actually? So, without further ado, here we go. Uh, the draw engine, actual Dark Lords Arado. It's in a weird order. Dark Lord Superbia, which is really good. You activate Exhale's effect. Uh, send Superbia to the grave. Draw two. Then if you draw Dark Lord Contract, you can special summon Superbia. Then you can summon Exhale. Then you can pay a thousand life points, copy Dark Lord Contract's effect on the grave. Shuffle to the deck. Then bring out Zorado, whatever, or whatever Dark Lord's in your grave. It's pretty cool. Triple Nastin. I see people cutting this card down to two. Um, I still like it at three because I like to see it. And there's a lot of Dark Lord cards that I run, so might as well try to see it. Uh, double Amdusk. I like this card. It's um, pretty solid. When you bring out Vanity's Fiend and you want to go off, you can tribute Vanity's Fiend for Amdusk. Then you can copy the effect in the grave of any of your Dark Lord Spell or Trap card by paying a thousand life points. Then shuffling it back to the deck. Then you just gain advantage. Uh, one Test Cat Lapoca and one Morningstar. Um, Morningstar is iffy, but I like him because he's one of the strongest Dark Lords. I believe he is the strongest at this point. But yeah, it's a really good card. Uh, run round off double maxi because it's a special summon deck and to stop special summons I run magic screen as a three of So yeah, that's the monster town for Dark Lords uh, Maxi is actually really good for Every deck right now. It's good against Zodiacs. It's good against any card any deck that special summons out the butt Yeah For the spells uh, we're, we're gonna dig through triple lower darkness Banishment of the Dark Lords, then the Monster Reborn Dark Lord Contract. We're gonna dig again for trade in because we run six, I th yeah, just six level eights, I believe. Superbia and Zerata. Uh, board wipes of oh, the back row. <laughs> Twin Twister. I run Valhalla, the Hall of the Fallen. This is pretty cool. You can special summon um, Nastin. If you control no monsters, because he's a fairy. He doesn't look like a fairy, but he is a fairy. Kind of crazy, huh? Especially summon Nastin, and if you have like more Dark Lord spell trap cards in the grave, you can pay a thousand life points, shuffle that Dark Lord spell trap card in the grave, copy that effect, then bring out whatever you need. One Soul Charge, really strong. Make big boards, make big X Y Z boards. It's pretty cool. And for the traps, I run. Two Rebellion and one Enchantment. This is the Snatch Steel. This is, um... Uh, Regeki Break. Yeah. So yeah, that's the Spawn Trap lineup. I really like this deck. Um, it's explosive when it can be. Well, like most decks. But when it's not explosive, you just cry. For the extra deck, I think there's 14 here, because I can't, I can't remember what's the 15th. Got one number... 38, Felgrand, Heliopolis, uh, Gustav Max, and uh, Super Dora, Big Eye, Flare Metal, The Spiders, number 77, number 84, number 35, and the Galaxy Package, Full Armor, Photon Dragon, and Dark Matter Dragon, and Aaron Lancelot. Um, what can I add in this deck? I don't know. I like the spiders. Maybe, um, whichever one adds the difference in life points. Oh, number 35. The difference in life points to a monster's, um, attack and defense points. That's pretty gnarly. I really like that. Alright, so that's it for my Dark Lord deck profile. Thank you for watching. Peace.